Dive into the fun world of letters with Sparkle DNA's ABC Word Chase and Coloring Book. Looking for an exciting and educational way to help your little ones explore their ABCs? Look no further. This engaging book not only allows your child to practice tracing the alphabet, but also includes tracing words and coloring fun pictures in between. It's kid-friendly, kid-approved, and the perfect blend of learning and creativity. Get your copy today and watch your child's learning journey light up with joy. Welcome back to the LifeScope channel. On your way in, don't forget to like, share, definitely subscribe and support the channel. It's appreciated as always. So it looks like third time is not a charm for Sean Diddy Combs. He has been denied bail yet again, Thursday, October the 10th. So earlier today, he was denied bail after recently hiring two new attorneys to help his legal dream team and assist Mark Agnifilo to possibly sway the judge into ruling in their favor. However, the judge is not going for it because one, the judge feels like Sean Diddy Combs may try to intimidate witnesses. And two, Sean Diddy Combs could possibly be a flight risk. And at this point, I could see why the judge may have thrown that in there because Diddy has been trying to get out three times already. And it hasn't even been a month yet. It will be a month going on a few days um, since he was arrested and put behind bars. So it hasn't even been a month yet. And I can understand that. I think we all can. If Diddy is not used to spending an extended period of time behind bars, then him sitting for almost a month under the conditions he is in must be hell. So now he has to sit out up until May 5th. That is the trial date that the judge gave for him, May 5th, 2025. So that is about six or seven months from now and that is a long time for someone like Sean Diddy Combs to be sitting behind bars and to wonder what his fate is going to be once he goes to trial. The pre-trial hearing comes two days after Combs' attorneys pushed for bail for the third time, claiming the initial judge's decision to deny him bail was unfairly influenced based on the sensationalism of the case. The first judge on the case, who has since been replaced, denied a request for $50 million bond, home detention, and limits on visitors. And I'm wondering, because I did hear about the judge being replaced, I'm wondering what happened for that first judge to decide, or was it decided for that judge that he couldn't preside over Sean Diddy Combs trial like why was that judge replaced I'm wondering is that information going to come out now it could be anything maybe the judge had some personal issues that he had to take care of and he probably just wasn't going to be able to preside but me just thinking I guess nefariously I believe that maybe he might have been forced off this case and if so why now besides all of that prosecutors are saying that they need more time 
maybe almost a year, which they could do within the seven months from now all the way into May to present their case because they have to go over all of the evidence. So when we think about it, that could be pictures that people are talking about, definitely videos, maybe text messages, some type of messages between Diddy and possibly some of the alleged victims of going back and forth. That could maybe consist of emails. So just a lot of things on top of what was seized from his homes that they have to go through in order to present their case against Diddy. Now his attorneys late Wednesday, his legal team filed a motion for an evidentiary hearing to investigate alleged government misconduct and leaking case evidence to the media. Now, some people believe, and clearly um, his attorneys, I don't know if they necessarily believe it, but it could be something that they are just trying to throw out there because once they did seize evidence from his homes, then that Cassie tape did just pop out not that long after. And it's a strong possibility that maybe they did leak some of the information allegedly however i do believe more information in the terms of photos maybe even videos that we are dying to see is going to come out or be leaked to us some for some reason i feel like that is going to happen somebody is going to put that out there and his attorneys they must definitely feel the same way because they're trying to get an evidentiary hearing to investigate and possibly get them slapped with some type of gag order to prevent anyone from mishandling the evidence or having it leak to the media because the public is already thinking well i'm not gonna say the whole public because there still are a lot of people that are coming to diddy's defense so the public is pretty split but if you keep putting out evidence it could skew the public in one way or the other and I don't know if that would taint a jury so I think his attorneys are trying to get ahead of all of that before it happens so at the court Diddy's mom was there with his kids and that was the reason for him as people are saying having a smile on his face or trying to appear to be doing okay he probably did that for them or maybe he is doing okay and we're just making a big deal out of it i mean just because he wants to get out of jail does not mean that he's just in a dire situation mentally he may be doing better than a lot of us think and remember last week diddy's mom had put out a statement via instagram from the attorney's saying it is heartbreaking to see my son judged for the truth but for a narrative created out of lies Combs said in a statement shared on instagram to bear witness what seems to be like a public lynching of my son before he has had the opportunity to prove his innocence is a pain too unbearable to put into words like every human being my son deserves to have his day in court to finally share his side and to prove his innocence so i'm not even mad at his mother for trying to take up for him 
even if your child is wrong honey that's what you do now you could tell your child you wrong you shouldn't have did this you should have did that but still if you remotely care about your baby you gonna stick by him regardless of whatever they have done but you could still tell them you did something wrong or try to correct them so that's something i would expect her to do which is to stick up for her child anyway let me know what you think don't forget to like share and subscribe and definitely support the channel until next time bye